um, doing a couple of prom shoots in Columbia, South Carolina, which is like an hour and a half away, heading home, I'm tired, I'm gonna go home, watch a movie, chill with my wife, watch a movie or something, lay around, keep my feet up. There was a bunch of problems going on today. For the first time, I guess because I'm in a small town, but for the first time I went somewhere and I see people with the same equipment as I got. <laughs> and I ain't saying this boastfully, but I got professional equipment. You gotta get the best. One thing about photography, if you don't want to spend no money, this ain't photography is not for you because this stuff costs. And of course, when I first got in it, all I did was bring a camera to a photo shoot. But now, I take gear with me. Which I've been taking gear for years. Like I seen this one guy out there with a light. He had a light that I used. I left, I left that one home because the light that I used you ain't got to plug no battery into it. You got a battery on the inside. You got a battery on the inside. But he, um, he had it where you got you to gotta have a long cord and plug the, back, plug the light into a battery. I ain't got time for all that. So that's why I bought the light that I currently use now. Excuse me, team. So, because I'm hungry, I have me some, um, Wendy's. I've probably been over there. How long have I been over there? About two hours. I was in Columbia about two, about really about three hours. I got there early and took a nap. Okay. What's up, Tim? I'm leaving. On to Nobles. About to head home, get some flowers, head home. My wife a little upset today. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Y'all, I'm hungry. Hungry, team. The keys back in my pocket. I went and got her the flowers. My baby was tripping. <laughs> she got the flowers. Yeah, you guys. I feel so blessed and special. And I got some chocolate, some turtles, and I don't know the name of the other thing. Yeah, I was about to cry, you guys. But the craziest thing, babe, I saw it last night, you know? I was like, I bet he's going to give me some flowers soon. See that? I told you about being with a prophet. I, <laughs> I knew that. I, I promise you, you guys. I was like, what? Yeah. What's up, team? I'm just waking up from a long nap. I know I look tired. I'm tired. Oh, Jesus. Pray my strength, team. Pray my strength. We're in this prayer revival. And every night people are getting healed. So it's a lot of uh, virtue coming out. So that means since I'm pouring out, I mean, I got to rest and get in God's presence more. The more. 
But anywho, you guys, my husband is so sweet, teen. Like he is so sweet. I was tired. He know I was tired. So what did he do? He said, baby, rest. I'm going to pick the kids up for you. I was like, what? Thank you, babe. That was really sweet, guys. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just woke up and one of my client's books came, The Dreamer's Advantage. Get this book. Get this book. What I love about this book, I'm going to put you down, team. Yeah, and I got indentures on my face because I was going in. I was sleeping hard. But, yeah, what I like about this book, it has a, a dictionary in the back, like a dream dictionary. So you can look up, like, doors. She breaks it down what kind of doors and what they mean. And I, I just think that's awesome. That's my baby. Yeah, insects. You see kind of bugs and stuff like that. I know some of you guys. She Is breaks it? down numbers. Yeah. Like insects. Oh. Yeah, like if you dream about a bee, that means painful I or strong demonic attack. Manna, meat, milk, pears, pumpkin. Yeah, she strawberries, got strawberries, tomato, water. Different kinds of food. Out. Yeah, she got like signals, weather, like left, left turn south, you know. Hair, clothes, she got all kind of stuff. Body parts, like you dream about the arm. I'm actually team the uh the audio book that we're doing right now is on dreams as well. Yeah. So I'm learning a lot. We just took a dream class. So yeah. So I, I really I really like this book. And she breaks down lucid dreams, like anatomy of dreams. She got symbols. Mm, my husband's sweet, you guys. Yeah. And I put little pictures in the book. Yeah. <laughs> And y'all see the charts and stuff, different kind of charts, all these kind of symbols, like a picture, pictograph, pictograph. Is that right? I said right. I guess it's pictograph. Pictograph. Yeah. And the meaning and interpretation, and she got Greek and Hebrew. It's really awesome. Yeah. So a lot of people see like double number, or triple numbers, like seven 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 or one one one. She breaks that down. So I, I like this book. It was it was a, it was a lot of work to publish it. But it was so worth it. Like I, my husband will tell you, I spent a, a lot of time because I went through this book like a, like with a fine tooth comb, and I'm just like, uh, uh, mm, 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 mm. Yeah. So now the book is awesome, and she said, "Woman of God, I, I, I was impressed by your edits. I love the work you put into it." She couldn't say anything wrong. She couldn't see any errors or anything. Everything was perfect. So I just thank God that my editing skills are getting better. So yeah, so this is Misha. Y'all support her. Misha Wesley. Yeah, y'all support her. Amen. Uh, it's awesome. Divine connections. Start to see a friend in her, you know. Um, so yeah, almost like I'm her prophet, you know. So <laughs> <laughs> that's what it feel like. Like I'm her prophet sometimes. But yeah, prophet needs other prophets. So anyways, team, I want to get up in the kitchen. I'm going to fry some chicken tenders. Make some macaroni and cheese and some kind of vegetable, some kind of vegetable. And tomorrow we get our Blue Apron box. I try to alternate Hello Fresh Blue Apron, Hello Fresh Blue Apron. So they're giving me something I have no idea. I never yeah, ate in it before. I, I never had pod fish before. A pod or po pollock. I never had that kind of fish before. And they gave, they're giving me. Tostadas, I don't know. But anyways, it's going to be an adventure. And you guys are going to be there helping me because I, I don't know. Yeah. But I'm going to get on this computer, get some work done. And me and my husband are going to spend some time together. I'm loving my husband. Loving my kids. And then I'm going to get into that prayer closet and get ready for tonight. Um, okay, somehow I, I hear Jacksonville, I'm still talking to, Sh to Shonda, Jacksonville, Florida, I think you got, I don't know if you wanted to go to Jacksonville, Florida, or that was in your mind to go to Jacksonville, Florida, but I hear Jacksonville, Florida, um, I don't know what that means to you, but I thank you God for her to be able to travel, God, to that region, that area, God, I thank you Father God in the name of Jesus, Lord God. I also see you partner and you have like sister ministries, uh, like a sister ministry. 
um, you're going to be connected to some godly women if you're not already. Uh, they'll help you um, in ministry. Or God's like a like a sister. Uh, that's the best way I can put it, like a sister ministry. But I heard Jacksonville, Florida. And I thank you, God, for her uh, traveling to that region, God. I thank you, Father God, for doing a great work in her, Lord God. I thank you, God, for uh, more exposure for her ministry, God. I thank you, Lord God, um, that you, Lord, for a great work. Um, I, I'm looking at a, I see a typewriter. Uh, and perhaps God placed it on your heart to write or uh, just to write some, uh, write your publication. I pray for grace and anointing for that. Lord God, I come against any hesitation in that area where she, uh, you know, feel like she can't do it. I speak in acceleration right now, but I see, uh, I saw a typewriter. God, I, I thank you, Lord God. Lord, and I just thank you, Father God. Uh, and I'm, I'm looking at a calendar, and I thank you, God, for more dates on that calendar. Uh, just more dates being fulfilled on the calendar. Um, more dates uh, being booked on the calendar. I thank you, God, for putting her uh, in demand. Lord God, you said your sister stays there? Wow. She said, that's where my sister stays. I heard Jacksonville, Florida. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Do you know anybody in Canada? I also saw Canada. You know, I, I believe your ministry is touching people in Canada and also, like, the little states up there, too. What's up, team? I know I look a hot mess. I had to put my hair wrap on for a few because my hair is natural. Uh, and I got to do my prayer revival in my school tonight. School of the Prophet starts tonight. But I have Blue Apron here. And I'm excited. So I was starving. I was like, I don't know what I'm going to cook for dinner. But this came right on time. So I'm excited. Let me some light. So you guys, I actually have three free meals. So if you want to try uh, Blue Apron, the first three people to email me get a free meal. And that's how we got on it, because they give us free meals. And let's see if I can get this recipe card off. All right, so one of them is crispy fish and tartar sauce with marinated zucchini and sweet potato fries. Yeah, they picked this out. <laughs> And this one is going to be interesting. This one is Mexican, Mexican City Chicken Tinga Tostadas. 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 Yes. Sorry, Tim. <laughs> and it's interesting because it has all the ingredients on here and the steps on the back. So this is right on time. It's going to be cooking today. Cook it with Kimberly. So everything's fresh and beautiful and the flavors last time was popping look at this avocado Ooh. I'm nobody crazy about no avocado so what's the good stuff you're not crazy about it a lot of people like oh my zucchini my team roll with me zucchini zucchini black beans black beans goya yeah goya in the house Okay, this look like romaine. Leaf. Romaine. Or something, what'd it say? Yep, red or lettuce, yep, good. Mm-hmm. Wait, that's no time for you to leave? It's 2.15 after. 2.15 after? Tomato you mean 15 sauce? after? Yeah. 2.15 after. Got my sweet potatoes. For my fries. Got my lime. I guess it's like all the ingredients like right here, which is sweet. Yeah. I'm going to be making my own tartar sauce from scratch. My knickknacks, they call it. We can silence that. All right. And these are my tostadas. Tostadas. Are these, what is this? Corn tortillas. I'm not a fan of it, but potato flakes. What are you a fan of? Just cut it it was cage free farm eggs. That's gonna be interesting, you guys. Farm eggs. Wow. <laughs> Very interesting. I don't want no farm eggs. I want mine with all the chemicals. 
All right, so down here, just more stuff. They gave us onions and garlic. So down here, you guys. And Blue Blue, this what you like? This what you prefer as opposed to me doing it? This what you prefer, Blue Blue? <gasps> Pollock. Fresh fish Pollock. We're gonna try this tonight. I never tried this team, so yeah. And it's uh, another one. This is, what is this? Chicken. Yeah, chicken breasts, chicken cuts. Yeah. So I'm excited. So we're gonna get in here today and we're gonna cook. And I got a pizza. I'm gonna eat a pizza really quick and go pick up the kids. I'm, I'm hungry, you guys. I don't know, I'm just starving. I can't stop eating. I know, it's bad. 